Hello and welcome to our video where we're going to show you our Dashboard Pro. So what we've got is multiple symbols, which is completely configurable, across multiple time frames. And the list of indicators that it looks like is configurable. So if we click this plus button, we can expand out and just have a see what indicators it's made up of. And this list is completely configurable. So you can, at the moment, we've got lots of built-in indicators that are very popular, like ADX, CCI. We've got moving average, where the price is above a particular moving average, and you can configure what period it uses for that moving average cross and so on. But you can configure custom indicators, even if you've just got the EX4 file or those purchased from market, and they'll all get uh, considered in the overall uh, value here. That's shown if I just you can see there the arrow. If it's a hollow arrow, then it means there's one or two that are in disagreement. So you get the hollow arrow, and then you get the solid arrow if they're all in agreement, and so on for the different periods. Okay, and the other things we've got, uh, we've got the. I'll show you the alert system in a moment, where you can get it to alert you when there's a change of arrow. Uh, we've also got the average daily range which is how much the symbol has already moved uh, during the current day. So really, if it starts to get to a high percentage, you know that's probably exhausted for the day and probably won't do very much, so it's better to trade some of the lower percentages. So it's a very useful thing to have there. You can configure not to show it if you're not interested, but we do recommend taking that into consideration. OK, so we've got the dashboard now running in the strategy tester. And don't forget, the strategy tester only works well for the symbol that you're actually testing, which is Euro USD. That's why the ADRs are zero. And what I wanted to show you is the alert system. So what you can do is to select with these tick boxes uh, which period you'd like to be alerted on. And by default, if you tick three, then it's going to alert you when all three go into agreement. And then in this column, it shows you when the last alert was and also how many pips it's moved since the alert. So you can just see if you've missed the boat. And of course, in the tester, the uh, alerts actually appear in the journal tab, but you can configure it to obviously do a pop up uh, alert, which is the default uh, when you're running it on a normal chart. The other thing to show you is you've got this tick box down here, show pips move since period change direction. And then again, it'll just show you how many pips have moved since the direction change. So we can see here it's moved about 60 pips since it, that uh, down direction happened on that particular period. So that can be quite useful information as well. OK, so we're back on a ordinary chart. What I wanted to do now is show you how to configure the indicators that are used to produce the arrows. Um, so it's all done via the uh, inputs. So if you go to the charts indicators list, so what we've got is the um, We'll explain a few more of these uh, later on. So we've got the uh, whether to include the various indicators. So you can choose if you just set them to off. So say you didn't want the ADX, which is down there, you could just set that to false. OK, so you can just choose what you want to include, both visually and in terms of the alert, of course. And to change the properties, so like you, this MAX, that's a moving average cross. So the periods are set here. So we've got the fast period for the MAX which is 9, and then the slow one is 20, so obviously whatever moving average cross you wanted, and that would, of course, affect the arrow and the alert. And we're now going to be showing you how to actually configure custom indicators that you may have installed on your platform. OK, so the first indicator we may want to configure is a very popular custom indicator called TDI, Trader Dynamic Index. I'm just going to put it, put it on the chart just so you can see what it looks like, but you don't need to have it on the chart in order to include it into the dashboard. So let's just show you how to configure that. So again, just go to your uh, the input properties, and it's these custom lines here. So we've got five available, one, two, three, four, five. So we just need to put in the indicator name as it appears uh, in the uh, navigator panel there. So we'll just put in TDI. Then something to display in the list that you see when you pl press that plus button, we can just call that TDI as well. Color index is the actual color of the line. So the let's say we want the green line across in this 50. Now I happen to know that the green line is color index 4. And then we also need to set the uh, midpoint, which is going to be this, this 50 line. So that's the transition really between buy and sell. So we put in 50. Click OK. 
and can I just show you that what I meant by the color indexes so that's uh, if you go to I've gone now to the TDI uh, properties and you can see all the various colored lines and they each have an index number we wanted the green line which was color index 4 so now if I just close that you can see that the dashboard reinitializes after a change like that so now you can see that the TDI is incorporated and we wanted the green so you can see now we're on uh, Euro USD we're on the 30 minute time frame and we can see that the green is below the 50 so you can see there for the 30 we've got that little red arrow in there, and that's been incorporated into the mix but I stress again you don't have to have the uh, indicator on the chart there you can just go back and it's still going to calculate it for you okay so the next example I'd like to show you is trend underscore slope so if we just put that on so basically it's uh, an indicator and it just uh, oscillates between showing you a blue and a red for the uh, buy and sell situation which is color index 0 to 1 just click OK so you can just see how it looks on the chart so for us to configure that so to include that in the dashboard again we would just go to the indicators list uh, go to dashboard edit what we want to do is just go down and we'll use uh, custom indicator 2 so again we need to type in the name trend underscore slope and we need to the display name so that's just going to appear just on the uh, dashboard just put TS in there color index that was not and then we've got two so we put the buy one in first which is happens to be zero and that's quite common actually and then one for the uh, sell situation click OK and what it's going to do is it'll just get all the necessary uh, data from the market and include it in the uh, list for all the different symbols you can see now the dashboard is reinitializing and if we click on plus we can expand out so we see now we've got the TS added and again we're in the cell situation so we've got the uh, down arrow okay I just want to finish really by just showing you a few of the other inputs so to configure the list of symbols uh, that's defined here there's uh, important symbols there's a limit to how long this string can be so we've got a symbols too if you need to add a few more in and you can either put the full symbol name in which doesn't have to be a currency pair it can be something else or you can actually list the currencies and it will automatically locate them and you've got an exclusion as well if you don't want to include any of the exotic uh, currencies uh, the it will also if this is set to true this symbol uh, it'll, it'll add the one that the actual uh, indicator is running on the symbol of the chart the alert threshold is quite important as well so at the moment it's going to alert you when all of the indicators are in agreement for a particular symbol but you could set that to say 80% so just to alert you when 80% have lined up so that's kind of a bit like an early lineup um, and also we've got the imagine you've ticked to be alerted on a set of uh, three periods perhaps M1, M5, M15 if you say like this to false then it will just alert you on an individual basis so if that's left as true then it's only going to uh, alert you when they've all lined up so that'll be M1, M5, M15 if you've ticked all these three and obviously you can tick some of the other ones the periods that are actually shown is configurable so if you don't not interested in monthly and weekly do remove those and that will reduce the processor load when it's calculating and I think that's probably all the important ones really all the others are, are generally just uh, sort of cosmetic items and things you don't need to change and finally just to say do check out our other products uh, we're Runwise FX have got a whole load of, of great things that in there really good reviews we've got our indicator combined that allows you to combine multiple indicators and it gives you all the necessary stats as well and you can try out different stop loss regimes as well and it'll just give you you know what that's likely to yield in terms of profit and win ratio we've got our amazing uh, strategy automator which is like a manual trade panel but it can be configured to enter trades automatically when indicators line up and to exit and we've got a whole library of uh, rules that you can download that do all manner of things on different indicators moving average crosses and everything and even displaying information now we've got like, display trend lines and you've got these quick load codes d-tl and all you need to do is just go to config d-tl replace existing click download and it'll download it from our library and what this does is to 
to, to draw our old trend line so you can see it does the uh, depending on the different uh, sensitivities so that's just and that's just through configuration but there's a whole load of rules as you saw there that you can download so well thank you very much for watching so if you've got any questions on anything uh, that you've seen uh, do get in touch it's at support at runwisefx.com and of course there's a lot of information in the manual about uh, configuring different indicators and so on